everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I'm doing my second treffle jigsaw puzzle. This one is from their spiral series and it's called Zodiac Signs. I had previously done one from their crazy shaped uh, series which I absolutely loved. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This one, what's interesting, it reminds me of the pink or silver crypt Robinsberger puzzles. Very similar where it starts out spiral and finishes rectangular. This artwork is amazing, love it. It's by the artist Ciro Marchetti. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And there were three other puzzles in this spiral series, Magical Places, Solar System, and Nature. But this one definitely caught my eye, I love it. Now at the corner of the box, they kind of give you an idea, show you a pattern of what to expect the pieces are like, but it covers up the image there. And you know, I'm very reliant on the image. But on the back of the box, you can see the full image and also it's a solution key. It's a bit small, but it actually tells you what piece shapes and how it lays out, just like the solution key with the pink and silver and all the other Crypt Rig Robinsberger jigsaw puzzles. Now, I absolutely love this. So bright, beautiful. I thought during the um, time lapse, I'd do a voiceover. I want to find out information about the artist. So I'll share that with you, as well as like the history of zodiac signs and astrology. I'll see what information I can find as well and use that during the time lapse. You will notice that Wendy started assembling this jigsaw puzzle with me. But unfortunately, we had to cut that short, so I finished it off another day by myself. Loved it, such a beautiful jigsaw puzzle. Absolutely loved it. So without further ado and for the love of puzzles, let's get to building these zodiac signs. This is such a lovely puzzle by artist Ciro Marchetti. Hopefully I'm saying his name correctly. He's an award-winning artist from the United Kingdom. He studied art in London, followed by a career working in Europe and South America before settling in the United States, where he opened a design agency in Miami, Florida. In addition to managing his company, he also gives workshops and lectures on digital imagery and illustration at the Fort Lauderdale Art Institute and continues to create his own visionary art. In his artwork, he often portrays his characters wearing masks. And he said that this was because, I've always found masks to be rather intriguing. Masks have a wonderful mystery to them. They hide reality. You can be something different behind them. They make you wonder who is the real person behind the mask. He is also very well known for reimagining tarot cards, presenting vivid dream images that map out a fascinating journey of self-discovery. Funny fact, when Llewellyn Publication asked him to do the artwork for a new tarot card deck, he didn't know anything about tarot cards at the time but he's definitely come a long way since then. I do believe his first tarot card deck was called the Gilded Tarot. Astrology, which can be loosely defined as a philosophy of stars, has changed significantly over time. It's hard to directly answer how old are the zodiac signs. The current iteration of Western astrology is highly influenced by the ancient Greece and ancient Babylon. Now, zodiac history is primarily derived from the mathematician and astronomer Ptolemy, Ptolemy's Tetrobiblos, which was published roughly 1800 years ago. This typically marks the beginning of astrology. Ptolemy divided the Earth's orbit around the Sun, a 360 degree experience, into distinctive 30 degree sectors, each with a different identification. He care, carefully documented the stars that could be witnessed during this time, which often included distinct constellations. Ultimately, this led to the creation of the ancient zodiac signs, which are 12 cosmic phases correlated with each 30 degree sector. Today, many people believe the sign that is present at the moment of the birth can have a direct influence on the course of that person's life. The astrological signs are Aries, Taurus, 
Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and I'm a Sagittarius. This was just so fun to put together. Bright, bold, beautiful colors, lovely illustration, lovely artwork. I enjoyed it so much. I have to say, I've only done two trefoil jigsaw puzzles so far, but the quality of the pieces, top notch. Now, because of the cut, because they're, you know, funky, both the crazy shapes and the spiral, I don't think it would pass. Yeah, it's not going to pass the pickup challenge, but it's not because the quality of the pieces is not there. It's because of the style of the jigsaw puzzle and the purposely cut pieces. But my goodness, so fun. Wendy really enjoyed it as well. It was kind of like her first try at, at using such crazy pieces. And you know, at first it was a bit like, oh, how does this go? But because the image is so fun, you concentrate more on the image than you do on the pieces themselves. And we really, really enjoyed it. We started with the circle and the writing as you saw in the sun. And then I finished like the outside on my own. Do you enjoy truffle jigsaw puzzles? I mean, I haven't tried just like a standard puzzle by theirs, but so far I enjoyed the two that I have done. I also like that they wrote the actual number of pieces, 1,040. Love that, you know, it's like, oh, okay, that's a little bit more than 1,000 pieces. But it's interesting to know how they, you know, puzzles have more or less pieces and depending on the cut and the style. Now let's talk about the artist, Ciro Malchetti. Still hope I'm saying that correctly. Oh, just, I can see how he designs tarot cards, for sure. Love the artwork. I loved Ye Old Shop. I mean, there's so many more of his, you know, images on jigsaw puzzles. I could keep buying and buying and buying them. Do you have a favorite? Have you done any of his artwork in jigsaw puzzle form? Do you have any suggestions for me? Let me know. So beautiful, just such a joy. Hope you enjoyed the voiceover. Maybe you learned something, you know, let me know. What's your sign? As you found out, I'm a Sagittarius, so my birthday's coming up in the next few weeks. I'm a fire sign, didn't know that. Don't quite know what that means, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, so once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!